Today is a really exciting day here at Northland Farm because this is the year we are putting in our garden. Last year, we bought the property and it was middle of July. So it really was too late to put in a garden. So today is day one of actually the garden build and starting to get the ground broken and ready for the hundreds of plants that I have already planted and have been growing for the last month that will go into the garden in the next week. This undertaking of this farm that we're building This undertaking of this farm that we're building is such a massive thing for us. Uh, we really it's all new to us and it's exciting but it's also a little daunting because we want this place to be beautiful and we want to really make the place productive. And every day is kind of like a new challenge. And I haven't posted any videos of what we've been doing before because it has been very wintry up until recently. But the last um, frost date for our area in Northeastern Washington was actually on the 27th of April. So now we can officially get the plants out and see what we can get from it. And I'm a huge um, pers preservation person. So I do a lot of canning and a lot of freezing and, you know, storing of food during the winter. And I want to have a large garden to make salsas and spaghetti sauces and have um, fresh frozen vegetables that, you know, do not have added preservatives and are maintaining their nutritional content. So we're super excited to get this garden in. Today, I really wanted to get maybe a quick walk around of the property and what we're doing and just kind of an introduction that this is going to be you know, a home and garden kind of lifestyle channel. Um, and just kind of start us off. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take us on a walk around the property. It's a acre and a half and has um, two different houses on it. One of them is not livable right now. We're actually going to prepare that in the future. And, um, hopefully have maybe a little Airbnb or something like that. But that's a big project because it needs a remodel and a refurbish and pipes and electrical and all of that done in order for it to be a truly usable property. So I hope that we'll get to do that in the future, but it's not this year. That's going to be later. Um, but for this year, we will be working around the main house, the garden, the orchard, and really utilizing what we already have. So without further ado, let's take a walk around. This is the old house that I was talking about. It's the old farmhouse from, I believe the 1920s. And it's a neat little property, but like I said, it needs a lot of work. So that is a future project. I suppose we'll start here. Um, this is our back deck. It's actually really nice, especially in the summer. It's a lot of shade. And this is what we call the dog yard. It's the backyard, but it's for our dogs. We actually have five small dogs and we love them, but they take a lot of space. This is an apricot tree, and this is an apple. And 
I need to clean up this old well pump because it's, I think it's very neat looking and I think it could look really nice. It doesn't work, but I think it could be a really nice little flower feature, maybe even a water feature. This is another apple tree, but last year it only produced a handful of apples, so I'm not sure um, exactly what the problem is with it, but hopefully this year it will do better. This space right here is actually where the garden is going. You can see there's old uh, raised beds here. Uh, there's rhubarb in the first one. The second one contains a ton of horseradish and the third one is asparagus. They're works in project or er, they are works in progress as well. This tree that we're coming up on here is a cherry tree. Uh, it's the one of three cherry trees on the property. The other two are up on a hill, however, and uh, it's really hard to get to them. So we haven't done anything with those ones. The second tree in a line is a plum tree. And I did a lot of pruning on it this year to try to get all the dead branches off. And I'm really hoping that it's gonna do well. This tree here is an Asian pear tree. It's fairly young, so it doesn't really produce, but I think in the future, it will produce quite a bit. This tree here is a Lincoln pear tree and it produces a ton of pears. We kind of have like this bench up here. We haven't used it really, but it's a nice little seating area on the hill. This tree here is a peach tree and I canned all of them. And they were great. They were fantastic peaches. So I am pretty ecstatic about it. This is another apricot tree up above. And behind it, we have sugar maples. They're too young to actually get any maple from, maple syrup from, but eventually in the future, they may produce some. This tree here is another apple tree. I have all the apples and the types of the fruit written down, but I can't remember off the top of my head. This is an old apple tree, but it's got a lot of dead branches and stuff on it. So I need to do some pruning on it, but it, the apples that come off of it are really good. These here are all blackberries. It produced a ton of blackberries last year. Like I had to pick them every two days. I canned a ton of blackberry products. The second fencing line is empty, but we are putting in raspberries here in the next few days. So. Hopefully within the next couple of years, we'll have bountiful amounts of raspberries as well. And these here are ancient peach trees. They're very, very old, but they did produce really good peaches. Here, this is all grape. This is the view from the back part of the property. There was so many grapes last year. I couldn't keep up at all, especially in this section here. There was just so many grapes.
So that is the quick tour of what's going on here, where the garden space is. And I really hope that everything goes to plan. I, I always expect a few snafus. I think the garden's going to be beautiful and I'm looking forward to getting your advice and tips as I go on how to make it even better. I can't wait to start planting stuff in the garden. It feels like it's been a long process, you know, planting for the garden and then preparing for it and then planting seeds and then growing those and now putting the garden actually into the ground. And then we have to amend the soil and then getting all the plants actually into the soil. So I'm really excited to get started on that part.
With the garden plot nearly finished being tilled, I can start to see how it's all going to look when it's finished. And I can't wait for it. I can't wait to plant the first plants and the last plants. I can't wait to watch them grow and then harvest and nourish my family through the next winter. Because when I mapped out this garden, I may have oversold myself a little bit. This is a huge garden plot. But I'm sure I can fill it up. Take care and be safe. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button. That way you will always get the updates of our future videos. Also, please leave me a comment. Tell me what you liked. Tell me what you didn't. Give me gardening tips and anything else you feel like I might find entertaining or useful.